Gordon dishes to Smith. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Spurs leading by seven. Mills passes to Diaw. He kicks to Mills. Spurs working the ball around now. Leonard attacking. No luck. And New Orleans will come the other way. And this matchup with the Spurs, it's their first meeting of the season. Yeah, and these teams are pretty familiar with one another. They'll face off four times this year. And you know, Greg, both would love to get the upper hand early. This game, to me, is psychological as much as anything. I mean, a win here provides that edge you're looking for. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And Mills kicks to Leonard. Five on the clock. Shoots it up. And it's Leonard again missing. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. And stolen by Butler. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Spurs lead by... Tony, you guys have seemed to be in a good groove lately. Taking a broader look at the season, what's important for this team to have success this year? To stay healthy. Uh, I like our chance. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith, and it's the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A fantastic first quarter from Tony Parker. He had 12 points, two assists, and two steals. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? Well, it's tough to play on the road, and they overcame that. They were mentally and... And now, folks, it's just about time for the third quarter to begin. We Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Tremendous output from Parker. He has 12 points, and also those active hands of his have led to a pair of steals. He can just change a game with his defense, and he's thrown off their rhythm completely the last several possessions. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Davis and Ashik in the middle. Holiday at the one with Gordon at the two. And it's G in at the three. Right side, Leonard. Softly drops in the floater. Leonard's got eight. I like it. I like it. He broke out the fancy finish there. Well, you, you know that Kawhi Leonard has an incredible reach with his arms, but even his hands are just massive, measured at 10 inches long and 11 inches wide. Wow. Spurs leading by five. And the wide open shot from Green. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Green's got his first three points of the game. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Gordon with no one around. Again, the miss by Gordon. You got to be careful, though. There's a real balancing act. You can't let your ego try to run your offense. You can see he really wanted to answer that made three with one of his own. Not the best decision. Parker kicks to Duncan. Outside Aldridge. Inside. Puts it up from 12. Off the iron that time. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Guys, you want to talk about one tough guy? How about the Turkish hammer, Ashik? Tremendous <laughs> rebounder, a space eater in the paint so long. That's a great way to describe him, Kevin. Last year, he finished fourth in the league in rebounds per minute. Plus, he's always lurking as a shot blocker. He is. Luke Babbitt, he's checked in for New Orleans. First 
And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. There's the steal. Ill-advised pass on that one, guys. I mean, he had to know there was a man there in position to get that turnover. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Spurs leading by six. And, you know, going back to Asher, I mean, he's not just a big, immobile guy. I mean, he's got really good flexibility, and that's helped him develop some post moves at the offensive end. He's no longer Mr. Dunk or nothing. Gordon dishes to Babbitt, and he gets the bucket. Babbitt's got his first points of the game. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. And going back to Amir Ashik's toughness, you can see it in his face. I mean, he's not going to smile at you. He's not going to show you any expression at all. Just a cold-blooded monster on the floor. Listen, Kawhi Leonard hasn't been in the league for a long time, but he's feeling right at home. Said last season he wants to remain a spur for life. And Holiday kicks to Davis and stolen by Aldridge. Parker against Holiday, and the foul on Drew Holiday. That'll be his second foul of the game. Right around three minutes into the second half. Leonard, and that comes off the assist by Duncan. And that's 12 points for Leonard. And for Leonard to hear players say that a lot, but rarely before they reach the end of their rookie contract. Yeah, I think Leonard just realizes what a special situation he found himself in. I mean, he is the complete package as a player and custom made for how the Spurs like to play and do things. Ball's knocked loose. And New Orleans pushing it up now. And Ashik throws it down. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense, as was displayed right there. Well, I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. And how good a playmaker has Tony Parker been? One of the best in recent history. The all-time leader in assists for the Spurs over his 14 years there. Just a crafty guy with the ball in his hand. Smith checked in for Drew Holiday. San Antonio also making some changes. Boris Diaz checked in for Duncan. Rasul Butler comes in for Green. And it's Mills in for Tony Parker. Here's Babbitt. He averages a bit over six points a game. Lock it two. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And there before you are the teams that have been absolutely red hot for the last 10 games. The Spurs second. You have to be impressed with their shot selection. I mean, the discipline on that end and the unselfishness really is what allows those great numbers to show up. Mills can't hit. And continuing our talk of Tony Parker, the first year he laced up his sneakers, he increased the tempo for that entire Spurs offense, and it continues to this day. Yeah, and the increase in floor spacing and tempo, a big reason the Admiral, Tim Duncan, and Parker won the championship together in 2003, and obviously Duncan and Parker have won a few more rings since then. Well, you know, guys, it, it's really amazing just how quickly Anthony Davis has blossomed into stardom. You know, by age 21, he was arguably the best player in the game. At age 17, he only had one scholarship offer for college, and that was from Cleveland State to play point guard. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Smith's got three assists now in this one. For San Antonio, they've gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. And in high school, Anthony Davis didn't play for a powerhouse. Perspectives, charter school, only around 200 kids. Certainly not an NBA hotbed. They had him bring the ball up court and work in the post, much to his developmental benefit. A lot of losses, but he said that it made him a better leader dealing with that adversity. San Antonio leading. Outside Butler. 
down low. Here's Diaw. Good. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. New Orleans has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Babbitt, defended by Butler. Gordon kicks to Davis. And that one is hammered home. Signature slam right there from the big fella. How many of those have we seen before? Now here's Mills. Got it off in time, but it's no good. Three quarters of play in a close game here. It's the Spurs leading by just two. And after a quick... Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. The Pelicans trail on the court for San Antonio. Parker and Green are the guard pairing. Rest out there with Duncan. And it's Leonard in at small forward. Here's Anderson. Kicks it to Ajinsa. The game now all time. Jims has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for New Orleans. Spurs shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Parker against Holiday. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And Greg, it's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Anderson's shot is off. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Parker passes to Duncan. Takes the 13-footer, and a pig pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. And the Spurs lead by two. <laughs> wow, risky shot there size-wise, but the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. West with the steal. Here's Parker. Gets in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Spurs. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. You know, adding on to that, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. The San Antonio Spurs, is a team that has had such a strong core and is so disciplined, Clark, it's hard to see them struggle, even, even think of them struggling, even on the road. Well, you know, last season they did have trouble at times on the road, but 22 and 19, still not too bad. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich coaching his team during that last break. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out full speed. Guys? We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. And for the Spurs, on the road, it, it was the scoring. They were so good at home, but scored eight and a half points less per game on the road. That was the biggest margin in the NBA. And another fast break chance here for the Spurs. Here we go. Here's Leonard. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Ajins has got three rebounds now in this one. G kicks to Holiday. Here's the three. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Boy, it's been a long time since the Spurs had a losing record on the road, so there aren't any concerns for them. I mean, they've never had a losing road record since Tim Duncan was drafted. Wow, that's back to 1997. Parker kicks to Green. Five on the clock. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Here's Leonard, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And you can tolerate gaffs like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. 
New Orleans making some changes here. Ashik comes in for Alexis Agins, and Gordon subbed in for Cunningham. The Spurs also with the sub. LaMarcus Aldridge is checked in for David West. And Holiday kicks to Ashik to take the lead. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Shooting for New Orleans. He misses the free throw. At the line for two. That one is no good. The Spurs have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Parker kicks to Leonard. Back to Parker. Outside Aldridge. Duncan, a screen. A three from Leonard. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Fantastic bomb there, just especially against the taller defender. Clutch shooting, determination, and plenty of skill, too. Leonard against Gordon. For three. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. Absolutely essential that they come right back and answer with that three of their own. And this gets the crowd energized. Yeah, and the game as close as this one, every possession is critical. They've got to give as good as they get, and so far, that's been the case. G dishes to Gordon. Over to the wing. Here's Holiday. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. And the Pelicans lead by one. Well, I tell you what, when you get this kind of effort and efficiency from him, they're a really hard team to beat. One of the stories here, Drew Holiday getting it done today. He's definitely rolling offensively. You might not be able to stop him, but you've got to find a way to contain him. Doyle is making a switch here. 